Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Free Webcast and in this video tutorial we are going to see how to install Windows 10 and this will be a clean installation. Before you decide to install Windows 10, be sure that your system meets the minimum system requirement to install Windows 10. Be sure like this. We require a processor with uh, at least 1.0 GHz or faster. We required a 1 GB minimum RAM to install a 32 bit uh, Windows 10 or 2 GB for 64 bit Windows 10. We must have at least 16 GB free space to install 32 bit OS and 20 GB for 64 bit OS. We require a graphics card uh, with uh, Microsoft DirectX graphics device and uh, with WDDM 1.0 drivers. We require a display which support 800 into 600 screen resolution to see the installation process and we require internet access as well as Microsoft account. Basically, if your PC can run Windows 8.1 then you are good to go. If you need the ISO image, you can download from Microsoft website. If you are installing Windows 10 in virtual machine like me, you don't need to burn the ISO or copy it. You will just need to mount it before you start the virtual machine. So let's see the uh, demonstration. I just already created a Windows 10 VM and uh, mounted the ISO image of Windows 10. And this is the first console which you are seeing, uh, seeing Windows setup. So once the necessary files are copied, the setup starts by asking uh, what language, time, currency and keyboard input settings you want to use. Make the selection as you preferred and click on next. I'm not going to change anything on this console and just clicking on next to continue. Click uh, or tap on install to start the installation process. Setup takes a couple of seconds to start and then uh, it will ask for the license in terms. So select I accept the license terms and click on next to continue. Now you will ask for the installation type which we have uh, two types of installation options. One is the first one is a upgrade. Uh, if you want to upgrade from uh, older version of Windows that time you have to select first box and if you want to go for a clean installation that time you have to select custom install Windows only. So now we have to select the partition uh, where we want to install Windows. Select the partition and click on next to continue. If you need to set up your partition in a specific way, you can create a new partition, format them and so on before clicking next. So for this demonstration, I'm going to create a new partition with at least 100 GB in a size. Click on apply. Uh, this will create an additional system partition. Click on OK. And here we have a system reserve partition. And this is our partition where we are planning to install our Windows 10. Select it and then click on next to continue. Once the installation starts, the setup will take a few minutes to copy all the required files and install the Windows 10 OS. Once the installation is done, the setup program will automatically reboot your computer for at least two times. So this will take some time to complete and that's why I'm going to post the video recording and uh, we'll come back after computer starts again. Once the PC reboots, you'll be able to select the settings like whether Windows updates are enabled and so on. So I would recommend that you just use Express settings if you are using a test machine. Use custom if you are really going to use the computer. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use Express settings. And now you can specify the username and specify the password. Click on next to continue. Windows 10 takes a while to prepare your computer or device, your apps and all other settings. So when it's all done, you are logged on into Windows 10 and you can view the desktop. Congratulations, you have a successfully installed Windows 10. Let's see the system property. So let's click on a start button. Select system. As you are seeing, we have a Windows 10 Enterprise Edition installed on this uh, VM. And this is the way how you can install Windows 10. So that's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.